All right, guys, so over the last 30 days, I've been using Magifier to make and post Pinterest pins for me on Pinterest. And I've been spending every single day doing 30 LinkedIn engagements, that is replies, posts on LinkedIn. Now, these are the lessons that I've learned. And if you're starting with Pinterest or LinkedIn right now, in this video, we're gonna go through the exact lessons I picked up at the end of 30 days that you might want to start immediately if you're starting on Pinterest or LinkedIn right now. So today is January 30th and I have on my calendar, it's been one month that we've been running our automations on Pinterest. So we're gonna take a look at the results on that. And it's been a full one week since we started engaging on LinkedIn. So we're also gonna take a look at those results as well. So let's hop on over to Pinterest and we can see that our monthly views is 9K now. Guys, that is 9K of me doing nothing. I mean, this is really the first time I've checked our monthly views. So it's up 238,000 and 450 percent and you can see that december 31st we were just getting seven views that day and now the impressions have been just going steadily and we can choose the last the yeah, last 30 days our impressions up 9k total audience 5k and an engaged audience 32,400 percent so that's some pretty incredible results for not doing anything but going on a magifier and just setting everything up with that said let's jump on over on linkedin so our content performance is 2158 that's a 46.7 percent increase from a week ago so you could see that the Numbers basically stayed the same. We were getting the same impression on J January 24, which is the Wednesday that gave us a full day of data. And it just kind of stayed on the same level. So here today we are up 43%. And I wasn't able to capture because I was not smart enough to capture the amount of impressions we had seven days ago. So I just went to ChatGPT and reverse engineered it. So basically I was getting 1,472. I wasn't posting every day. You could see that, you know, I had a post six days ago, five days ago, and three days. So there are some days that I missed, right? But I did engage 30 comments every day for the last seven days. And we're gonna continue doing that for the next 30 days. So that's just an update of where I was with Pinterest and LinkedIn. So guys, we've been at about two weeks of engaging on LinkedIn consistently, you know, doing 30 engagements a day with posts on LinkedIn. So today is February the 6th, it's been about two weeks. Let's take a look at our results. So basically here are my top performing posts. You could see that a lot of them, these two that have been performing well these, this week, are both story posts. I'm also doing 100 days of code and that is not doing as well as the stories, but I like to keep consistent on that because I'm also doing that on, on X. Now, if you take a look back at the past seven days, our content performance has actually went down. We had a lot more than 1400 or 1500 uh, impressions. So it's not as good as the previous seven days. So I would say that the learning here is to one, do more posts. Posts actually are worth more than, than comments. Commenting is what helps you network. So if you want to find people in your niche and comment on their posts, then that is a great thing to do. And to schedule your posts, I've actually been using Pally and they allow you to post like 10 free posts or something for a free version so you don't have to pay for anything they you can use it for free to schedule your linkedin post or you could also schedule on linkedin themselves but the ui on scheduling on linkedin is not that great to be honest one other thing i've been doing is i've been curating my following because if you go to your network you go under following so i've been basically following very big accounts people that i would like to meet but I also mix it up with people that are basically unknown. Like all of these, Megan Williamson, Carolyn Campbell, they are basically people who do marketing for Pinterest or Pinterest marketers. So I want to engage with them because at some point, if they comment on a post of mine, then I would bring it to the DMs and try to 
talk to them more, get them on a call to talk about their pain points and hopefully convert them to customers. But all the other big accounts, that's more to get visibility. So if you're commenting on Jasmine Alec, who is a very big LinkedIn influencer, the idea there is to just get your visibility out there and make sure you have a nice headline so that anybody looking for uh, Pinterest SEO with AI, they will know to go to your profile. And that's something that I've been trying to do on X as well. But you know, I've only started doing this this week and the list is not fully curated yet. So it's gonna be kind of like a very big experiment with what I'm doing with that. So this is the third week of me engaging on LinkedIn. You know, 30 engagements every single day for the next 30 days, right? And so here is our results. So this week particularly, we have 786 impressions. That's not good compared to the past seven days. We're down about 50%. And our top performing posts are some posts that I've also put on Twitter. And you know, this one here is 254. The one below it is 145. So what I can say right now is that LinkedIn is it varies on the performance. You can see that my first week was my best week, but since then it's kind of been going down with me keeping the same kind of engagement schedule. So that's just a report on what's been happening on the third week. I'm going to up the posting frequency, like do more posts per day scheduled in next week and we'll see what happens. All right, so it has been four weeks, one month, 30 days since we started engaging seriously on LinkedIn, you know, 30 engagements on LinkedIn for 30 days. And here are our final results. If you look on the screen here, we can see that our analytics have went from around seven to 800 last week to now 2,819. So that's a up of 151%, right? So all of my posts have been getting impressions. Now, what really changed? What really changed is we're still doing 30 replies every single day, but I am posting more often. So I would post on 8.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m., have that scheduled every single day for the last week, except for weekends. Another thing that I also started doing was every single night, I would purposely go on LinkedIn and repost the old post to give them a second chance, to give them a chance to hit the other side of the world. So that, just doing that, brought us up by 151%. So that is something that you want to start doing. And there's one thing that I learned from William Choi, and that is that you should always end your posts with CTAs. And that's something that I haven't been doing, but end it with a CTA, lead them to your landing page, lead them to a place where you can collect their email because you want to be able to monetize the audience, the hard work that you've been doing. And I haven't been doing that. So that's a lesson learned for me. And that's probably the most important lesson aside from doing the reposting and just doing more posts per day. So I hope you take that as just advice for when you get started on LinkedIn as well.